Hey guys, Fatato here, and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about a uh, hyperdoc. All right, a hyperdoc really simply is um, usually a Google Doc or Google Slides or perhaps a Google site. So all this stuff in Google, and within it there are many different links to other things that you'll do, but it's all in one document. So I have a sample um, that biology classes are going to be using, and I'm gonna kind of point out a few things to you and show you a few important things as we do this. So first, obviously, the reason teachers use all bold and massive letters and exclamation points and everything is when something is really important. So this says, watch this first, and that is actually a link to a video. So you'll click on this and you'll click on the link and a video will, will show up. Now, if for some reason a video isn't working, all right, one of the things that you can do is you can click on this little button here and it says copy link, and then you can go into a new uh, a new window. I think you guys can still see me. Uh, you can go into a new window and you can put the link in that uh, new window. So I put the link up in the new search, and that's what you can do if for some reason the link isn't working directly when you click on it within the hyperdoc. The link should work in the hyperdoc, but we all know technology and we all know that that isn't always the case. All right, another thing to point out is sometimes there will be direct links and sometimes we'll say click on a specific something. So in this case, it, this one says click on this puzzle piece. So when you click on the puzzle piece, it'll give you a link again. And here I'm just gonna click, click on, it says part one, can you solve this puzzle? And I'm just gonna click on the, that blue title. Now, in this case, it says, would you like to make a copy of part one, can you solve this puzzle? Well, I have to. If this ever pops up, you don't have an option. You have to make a copy of this. So I'm gonna click on make a copy. Now, when you guys go to do this, I'm gonna wait for it to, there you go. When you guys go to do this, this is actually gonna be a puzzle that you solve. I'm obviously not gonna solve the puzzle for you right now. Once you solve the puzzle, it's gonna give you some directions and it says stop. Share link in big people of bio hyperdoc. Um, next to where it says part one. So here's how you do that. You go up to this button that says share, okay? And when I click on share, there's gonna be some options. Now yours is gonna look a little different than mine, but somewhere it's going to say get link. You're gonna click on get link. You're gonna change the restricted to anyone with the link. And then you are gonna click on copy link. Now, sometimes you might just be copying this link into a Google Doc, into a chart. Sometimes we'll have somewhere that says paste link here. So the directions say to share it in big people of bio hyperdoc next to part one. So if I go back to the hyperdoc, it says share part one link here. So I would just click on that button and I would click, I would, I'm sorry, I would click on right next to where it says share part one link here and I would click paste and it would put the link in for the Google Doc that I had just been working on, okay? So that is how you share a link. That's how you share a link anytime. If you ever make something on Google and we say share the link, that's how you do it, okay? And you, you'll be able to reference this later on. Um, so as you go through the hyperdoc, what's gonna happen is there'll be several different sections and different hyperdocs are sent up different ways all the time, okay? Um, in this case, this one has directions on one side and then links on another. They might say put an X somewhere, so you can see I can put an X there. Oh, it's straight. oh do I have a background on? There you go, I can put an X somewhere. So you basically follow the directions and click on whatever it is you need to click on in order to accomplish the tasks, okay? There are several parts to these, as I said. Here's another section. It says using the information you learned in the explore section, which is your notes in your notebook, answer the, follow, uh, the questions in the Schoology follow-up. So you're gonna click on here for that. Sometimes it'll have things to click on and links for your specific class. So you wanna make sure that you pay attention when you click on those and where it takes you so that you can then, and I'm gonna show you this as well, um, you can then go and you can fit, finish whatever it is you have to finish so that when we as your teachers check it, we can make sure you get credit for everything you've done. So some hyperdocs, again, might be set up like this. Some can be set up like a game board. Some can be set up um, where you have to record something. Sometimes there might be questions right in the hyperdoc and you just literally, you know, click 
wherever it says, and you answer, if it says answer a question here, you literally type the answer out into the question. Um, sometimes it'll have you vote on things. So basically when you do a hyperdoc, the important thing is that you can open and access all the parts and that you don't forget any of them because this whole thing will be submitted on Schoology as a Google assignment for us to grade and for us to look at. So you wanna make sure that you go in order because that's the only way everything's gonna make sense and that you make sure that you finish everything. So that's a little uh, bit of information on first hyperdocs as well as how to share um, something within a hyperdoc, all right? If you have any questions, you should be writing them down um, in your notebook if you have it, um, or you should be keeping track of them somewhere so that you can ask us or so that you can Schoology message us those questions at any time. All right, sounds good, guys. See you later.